Welcome aspirants, welcome to Shankar AS Academy's YouTube channel. In this video essay, I will try to address one of the common doubts among the UPSC aspirants. The doubt being, how to effectively prepare for current affairs. Before I address this question, I want to share with you an interesting conversation which I had with the 2021 topper from Tamil Nadu. See, talking with him gave me a lot of clarity. What I liked about his preparation process is that it was very old school and it was very simple. Basically, he had a 250 page notebook for each GS paper and in each notebook, he partitioned the notebook according to the syllabus and in that he kept adding both his static and current affairs note. He kept on revising the notes and he strongly believed that if he prepared diligently for the mains examination, he can easily crack films. And like he expected, he cracked the prelims examination, mains examination and the interview in the first attempt. So what I basically understand by conversing with him is that you have to address two things. One is you have to keep your notes short and the other thing is you must keep on revising your notes. Now coming back to the question, how to effectively prepare for current affairs? I will share with you four steps that you have to follow to effectively prepare for current affairs. First thing is limiting the source. My advice is just stick to one newspaper or one magazine or one YouTube channel. But the thing is that you must follow this source very religiously. This is the first step. The second step is organize your notes. You can be very old school and use a notebook to note down your notes or you can be tech savvy and keep your notes online using OneNote, Evernote or using Google Keep. But the thing is that your notes should be very crisp because the crisper your notes, the more easy it will be for you to revise in the future day. The third and the most important step is revision because if you keep on reading without revision, you won't be able to recall anything. See, reading without revision is like putting objects into a bag which has a hole in the bottom. Even though if you keep on putting objects, in the end, you won't find anything in the bag because every object would have fallen out of the bag through a hole in the bottom. So my advice is allocate one day per week exclusively for revision. And every day before going to bed, just think about what you have read every day. Okay, this is the third step. The last step is time limit. See, according to me, current affairs is one of the interesting thing to read during your preparation process. Since current affairs is very vast and very alluring, sometimes aspirants tend to spend a lot of time for current affairs. This you must avoid. You must try to balance both your static part and your current affairs part. So my advice is just allocate two hours per day for current affairs and additional half an hour for revision process. This will help you manage time and it will help you in the long run. So let me rephrase the four steps again. First is limit your sources. Second is keep a organized notes. Third is constant revision. Fourth is time limit. If you follow these four steps, it will help you effectively prepare for current affairs. So I have come to the end of the video. If you like this video, like, comment and share it with your friends. For more updates regarding UPSC preparation, subscribe to Shankar AS Academy's YouTube channel. Till then, signing off from you, Balaji.